Good morning, my dears. Today I have an incredible unboxing video for you. I ordered some things uh, from Sephora in Italy. Uh, I ordered it through uh, Cristela Cosmetics here in Albania, but I ordered this right before uh, the pandemic kicked in and my order was floating in the air. So, uh, yesterday I finally received my order. <laughs> I am so excited. This is going to be unboxing and I had such a hard time of keeping my fingers out of all of these bottles to open them. So, uh, I am so excited to actually do the unboxing on camera. First of all, the star of all things here is this wonderful palette. Yes, it, I opened it, uh, I looked if the, shade, if the shades are not cracked by any chance, but I did not touch them with my finger, I did not swatch them, so yeah, I am so excited. Second of all, I have here from Pat McGrath the whole Kaboom face um, foundation, this I believe the primer, and this is the concealer. Also very excited, there have been some uh, hits and miss, uh, uh, people had different experiences with the foundation, but I researched people with uh, my skin type, the dry skin, whatnot, and a lot of them seem to like it. So I am very hoping because, well also I am hoping that the shade will work, oh my god, this is so hard. I. Uh, you know, shade match. Please be, please be my shade. That and also please work. <laughs> because the promise of a light coverage, um, light texture is really, really appealing to me. And of course the concealer. I do have a, um, some concealers today. I use uh, Milani. I have L'Oreal Infallible concealer. I still have a MAC Waterweight concealer, but I kind of stopped using it because I lately have a little bit better ones. And I do have a BB highlighting pen from Estee Lauder. Uh, that's all as far as concealers go. I can't say that either of those concealers are my holy grail concealer. Um, probably because um, I would like to have some um, concealer slash color corrector at the same time so I don't have to put products. I don't know how is this possible, but if it's possible, but that would be my holy grail product, a concealer that also color corrects blue spots, blue dark circles. Anyhow, I'm going way too far, way ahead of myself. So this is the skin from Pat McGrath. I'm really hoping to become a supermodel today. The last thing is, this is unexpected, I didn't per se order this, but Chris, Christella had it and she showed this to me that she ordered this. And I said immediately, yes. Yes, because I did look at these palettes, uh, at this one and also um, two others. I'll list them over here, I don't remember the names but to other eyeshadow palettes, so I kind of looked at this trio as like a big, big, massive wand. And she happened to have this one, so of course I snatched it. And um, anyhow, so this is my uh, unboxing today. I also have, oh by the way, I also uh, came in my Sephora order two little testers. Uh, this is from Sephora Too Faced, um, waterproof makeup remover and the last time when I was in actual Sephora physically I was in Greece right before this whole quarantine started and I picked up a, a, a full size of this Sephora makeup remover and it's finished by now it's really good and that time it was on sale on some kind of ridiculously good price and I'm I was tempted to buy two or three of those because I know you, you I mean you go through these but I didn't because I didn't want to have too much heavy stuff in my 
luggage and I did regret. So this is a welcome thingy, a little tester. And um, of course, I love these little creams, uh, skincare products, testers. This is from Estee Lauder. Re Renutrieve Ultimate Renewal Nourishing Radiance Cream. I will definitely use it and I use these little testers and I end up buying full size products because if, if they are good, so this is big and expected bonus. I'm very excited about this. Anyhow, so if you want to see how this whole thing unfolds, please keep watching. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you will be entertained. So let's dive right into it. Before I dive into unboxing the Mothership 6 Midnight Sun eyeshadow palette, I am going to show you I have two other Motherships. This is the Mothership 5. And the Mothership 2. And you see they are quite used ever since i got those two i've given them a tons of use they are these eyeshadow palettes are um, i would say in one way they are limited but also um because what i mean by that you cannot get a, a ton of looks out of them because you get like two, three looks and like one look tend to really kind of stand out. And this is kind of like, if you want that type of look, you reach for that palette. Maybe two looks, like two solid, very interesting looks you can get out of those palettes. This one seems to be a little more versatile. So I am very excited about this. Um, it seems to have a little... Uh, more variety of shades, colors, uh, and I am going to start the unboxing from the skin products because I want to do my skin first. Um, this, I believe, is the primer. So let's go into it. I got my skin prep done my skin creams and this is my usual suspect this is the stuff that i use every single day for priming my skin the wrapper is off guys ta -da! man i was waiting so long for these things oh i have heard folks who are saying that this is kind of the primer is kind of cheap looks cheap compared to the foundation like I to be honest don't mind like the thing that I see here the the sticker glued off but I can put it back I don't know like no now it's perfect <laughs> uh, Wow beautiful beautiful label this beautiful gold feels very luxurious even though this is plastic uh the plastic could be a little more interesting this reminds me a, a roll-on deodorant kind of vibe okay as long as it works and does some beautiful things i don't care let's give it a little shake i suppose okay this primer Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer, ba uh, Base Perfection Sublime, 30 ml, 1 fluid ounce. Uh, ingredients, water, glycerine. Okay, I am not going to pretend I even understand any of this. So this is a hydrating primer. It retails for 60 US dollars in the US Sephora and uh, it's expensive. Hopefully it's good. So it has three stars. Uh, 
description. Give me a description, please. Oh my god, the first review. I don't know, I'm not gonna read reviews before I try. I have not read any reviews yet. Details. A perfecting primer that smooths, hydrates, and blurs with a sublime silken effect that ensures a flawless canvas and makeup application that lasts. I like that. Um, highlighted ingredients. Hyaluronic acid. Big thumbs up. Yes. Hydrates by attracting moisture from the air to help support preserve uh, the useful uh, qualities of the skin, including suppleness, elasticity, and tone. That sounds really good. Cosmetic filter powder, a coated microsphere powder meant uh, to mimic the smoothness and clarity of ceramic to fill in the look of wrinkles and diffuse light, creating an even and luminous surface that also feels incredibly smooth. It is free of parabens. What else you need to know this? Water-based formulations enhances foundations wear and leaves behind a silky soft cloud of matte moisturization. Hydrating hyaluronic acid helps preserve skin's most useful qualities and diminishes the look of pores. How to use uh, suggesting using your fingertips apply a dime size amount of this skin refining primer to the center of the face and blend outward okay so this is it i gave it a little shake i didn't request it but i gave it a little shake anyhow oh thick It is lotion-y. I would say I can feel a tiny bit of graininess. Those are probably those microspheres, I suppose. So, I don't know if this is a sense from this or from uh, my face uh, lotion that I used before if there's any scent it is so nearly undetectable so let's go let's go let's get flawless applying to the center of my face and work outward and i oh my goodness to be honest the feel of my skin under this primer is amazing. Wow. You know, like I feel like immediately my skin gets smooth, smoother. This reminds me of those, the silicone type primers. Man, I keep getting these flashbacks. I don't know why. Can anybody please comment what am I doing wrong with the light? Why am I getting flooded? Okay, I don't want to overdo this because I don't want this to roll under the foundation. But then also I'm hoping I'm using Pat's foundation. It shouldn't roll. So what I'm saying is reminds me, this reminds me the silicone type uh, primers in a way how they feel so smooth on your skin but it also reminds me of my uh, Estee Lauder hydration primer and the Lancome hydration primer the one that recently I got those also feel um, hydrating like this one but they don't feel give this smooth feeling um, just only more so this is like i feel like this doing uh, this is doing a little bit more than my usual hydrating primers so far i don't know like evaluating primers is very hard but um for what it's worth so far i really like it like i 
could literally feel like the texture of my skin under my fingers became smoother. Like this went on like a veil. Okay, so now let's go and while this is, is I'm giving a minute to sit. Okay, let's dive into the foundation. This is what I really, really expected. I was hoping that the primer is going to be cool, but what I was really expecting is the foundation. But I was, I also thought like, okay, if the foundation is meant to work with the primer, I might as well get the primer so I don't blame the foundation for something that primer was supposed to help with. It is also uber expensive as everything with Pat McGrath, my goodness. Man, this is shade light too. I am very scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, this is the um, foundation. It retails in the US Sephora at $68. And I have light two. This uh, lightest with peach undertones. I hope that's a good thing. Because the other one was with pink undertones. Oh, no, no. Pink undertones. I don't like. So hopefully this is a good one. Natural finish. It has four stars average details. A long wearing customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage in a wide range of universal hues uh, that manifest the ultimate sublime skin standard. Coverage medium, finish natural, how to use. Uh, using fingertips. So it, and using a brush. So it suggests using fingertips and brush or brush. And I typically do not like brush application for foundations. I feel like if I have to, I will use my fingers or a sponge so I believe then and with fingers it says it's sheer perfection so it's going to be more sheer effect with the fingers rather than with the brush which is fine with me sheer is fine so we are going with the fingers man it's been a while since I applied with fingers okay like everybody is raving of how beautiful this bottle is the packaging is beautiful indeed. This puppy does not have any SPF though. Don't know about that. I mean, like, I feel like these days you can figure out the SPF. Like, come on. Like, I am big. Like, my holy grail foundation must have some SPF in it. Like, at least 30 SPF. So, um, it's very beautiful. It, it reminds me... Maybe Estee Lauder feel, but it's kind of probably maybe even heavier. This is a beautiful, thick glass thing. It's, again, I believe 35, oh, it's 35 milliliters. So it's more than uh, pretty much most of my foundations, which is unusual. Pat McGrath doesn't give you extra product on anything. <laughs> the portions are pretty small. Okay, so... We are oh it's liquid and 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 the 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 shade looks like uh, what would be the lightest warm shade in Estee Lauder which is great this is a warm shade you guys I can't see I hear because it has um what I read because it has uh, some alcohol in it it dries down pretty fast so i need to work fast and i want to be able oh my god to see in the mirror so because in the monitor the color is a little off wow I 
have a pimple that I want to get it out like so bad, but I must don't touch it. Wow. Holy smokes. I love it. I don't know. We'll see. I am a little too quick to judge and I was very nervous about it. So I believe now perhaps I've gotten a l oh shit that's a big dab I've gotten maybe a little tan it is light too it's pretty light it's pretty light considering especially that it gives such a veil uh, coverage your skin shines through it okay what can i say compared to these countless water fresh water weight um, nude air all of these foundations that i really really tried to use because i wanted that type of coverage ah and my recent chanel that so spectacularly failed. This, this is my goodness. Guys, I'm rambling because I'm speechless. I like it too much. I like it a lot. The way it goes in so far, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hang on to my pants, you know, because I don't want to like rave about it and then be disappointed. So I'm gonna be conservative in my judgment, you guys, but it really is a thin veil of application. And I, this is, honestly, if you want thin, this is what you want. This is what you want. I don't know, like some people were saying that this is perhaps not for everyday use because of alcohol. I don't know if it wears well this is like the most day use friendly foundation I have because of the coverage mm. I still see a lot of my skin through it but it did not mess the texture of my skin it did not emphasize um, dry texture Perhaps maybe because of the primer. Okay, so I I feel like I need to apply it very carefully, not to roll it too much over, not to drag it too much across my face, uh, because like it dries sort of like kind of like almost where you put it, and I don't want uh, all the product to start rolling under under the foundation because the primer the, mm, the moisturizer goodness gracious this is skin perfection now i read of course reviews or inadvertently i saw some reviews and I saw different opinions. This is probably not going to be good for oily skin type. Because if I, with dry skin, feel comfortable with this, oily skin people might not like it. I don't know. If you want um, extreme coverage, probably you won't like it. Although, I think if I applied it with brush, uh, perhaps I could have built it up the coverage um, but also I have a concealer so I don't have to like and it also matches very good to my neck so that part is very lucky so I don't have to cover my neck with the product which I like so
sorry for the rambling because this is my first time applying this product and trying to make sense for myself and trying to make some sort of coherent comments about this. It's not easy. I hope I hope it's not gonna roll. Maybe in some spots um, the moisturizer is too heavy. So sort of be mindful that the primer is hydrating. So perhaps next time I should try it without going so ham on moisturizer because I did three-step moisturizer. Sometimes I do two products, sometimes I do three. Today I did three because I know these uh, very lightweight foundations, these fluid foundations, they really dry me out. So I went a little ham on my hydration. So maybe because this one has all these hyaluronic things and the primer, maybe it does not, maybe I don't need to go that extensively. How is it gonna wear? Today I have a gym session. So I, I know I'm like not supposed to work out in, in makeup, but you guys, this is just what it is. This is the way to test this. I will have a gym session and I do some lifting. I don't sweat too much in my gym though, so th that you understand. I lift weights and I do like um, short sets of three to five to seven maximum reps. I don't break sweat too much unless it's too hot outside. Guys, I'm getting, I'm getting into the concealer now. And it's hard to get it out. <laughs> ah, it's stuck in there and, and it's out. <gasps> it's glass. Blah, 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 ingredients, guys, it's concealer. We know what it does. I don't want to go back to the website and read it and give it a little shake. Let's give it a try. Um, concealer. So I did not do any color correcting. And I am hoping that this is gonna do it for me. I have concealer, sorry, I forgot to mention. Concealer is in the shade, uh, that's the lightest shade, I'm pretty sure, I know that. Uh, in shade L1. So uh, as you can see, it's actually quite a bit lighter than my foundation. So that's a good thing. Oh geez. It's like, it's like L'Oreal eggshell that I have. Okay. And the concealer starts making cake on the foundation. So concealer, guys, I'm, I don't know. It's like, it's very rare, but I found a concealer that is maybe a little too light for me. <laughs> Imagine that. And it is lightweight though, it's not cakey. I know it's better to use eyeshadows on the base, but today I think I'm gonna use this concealer. This concealer sets perfectly I don't feel like it's gonna crease. 
it has a, a much heavier, not much heavier, no, it's still very, very light as far as concealers go, but man, it is so light. I don't like it around my nose. It is like quite a bit lighter, guys. If this is something that you want, and I feel like it's kind of, it's kind of grabby to the skin. It's a little, it does not go like uber silky. It does not spread very, very easily. So I think the, it goes on like paint. Like, perhaps, uh, the way to work with this one is to apply in very very small amounts and distribute it without dragging it too far just put it where you want it and distribute it in that area Okay, I look like a proper ghost. Guys, it's like, it's the first concealer that is actually quite a bit lighter than my foundation. And I can do this triangle effect. Okay, this looks kind of really funny right now. Like I need some, of course, bronzer and stuff, but. Okay, guys, it, I'm taking it back. It did crease a tiny bit on the eyelids. So that is a concealer, can say that Mm, I'm in love, can say that I hate concealer, it's, I can say that the lightest shade is very, very light. Um, I, I like it. I think I like it. I think I like it. Wow. But the foundation and the primer, I love. I absolutely love. I am going to take a break off camera. I'm going to put some cheek products and I need to charge my camera a little bit. And I'm going to come back uh, to do my eyes. And I'm debating to go Pat or to go NARS. So if you wanna know what I chose, keep watching. Guys, I am back. My uh, face is done. I have my highlighter, my contour, my blush, blah, 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 whatnot. I look I'm very happy today. So guys, let me first of all show you this NARS. It is so insanely beautiful. I don't know. I don't even know which one is better. Look at this case. And like, it's kind of, it has like a 3D glass lacquer like thing like these NARS letters are on the top layer and uh, these swirly purples and pinks are in, under it and it's like I can't show you on camera it does not show it looks really really beautiful okay let's look what's inside Guys, this is incredible. I did not swatch them yet. Okay, to be honest, I did touch this one. <laughs> it is incredible. It is just 
an incredible duochrome or triochrome. I don't even know. Let me show you. No, it doesn't. The camera doesn't show. Um, I tried yesterday in the evening light and just just trust me I mean this is such an amazing shade maybe my camera is just not good enough it's to die for it's so beautiful it's incredible um, so this is this and let's see Pat McGrath same black packaging uh, shade names on the card I never bother about that I don't care what the shades are named for me is what is inside and let's see oh my god guys I have not touched them yet they are virgin so I don't even know I'm not gonna touch it today. I'm going to make a separate video. I don't know, it's like I don't wanna touch it. Is it crazy? Does it make sense? You guys, will you understand me if I not touch it today? This is unusual. Usually I am gonna have my fingers in it and it's just feel like I, I need to have time, I need to have a dedicated video, I need to make an eye look with this. You know what surprised me a little bit? I'm just going to tell you my first impressions. I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to swatch it. But the next video I'm going to do, um, maybe we'll have a little more time, and the entire video will be the looks from this palace, the swatches. I just feel like I'm a little overwhelmed with the first impressions from the foundation as it is. And this is such a big thing. Like, but let me tell you my impressions from seeing these shades in person. Uh, what, I surpri what I'm surprised about, of course, when I ordered and I remembered the purple is a standout. I was really looking forward to this champagne -y color. This on swatches is phenomenal. But I was surprised by seeing this, uh, like a mud green shade here, hockey green, and this brown, and this matte shade, which is probably the lightest matte shade of Pat McGrath that I have in brown. So like a crease transition shade for pale girls, yes. Also this reddish shade, it's gonna be phenomenal. Um, here on camera I see it shows there there it's not as dark as this is its shade it's not too deep this is more like this it's beautiful um, not black gray beautiful because I have her wonderful blacks um, you have no idea how much I want to stick my fingers in it but I won't <laughs> back with an 
eight hour wear test update of uh, the Pat McGrath uh, foundation and primer and concealer. Uh, I had to cut my video short uh, my, and I did not show you um, how I applied the eyes I, because I had to run some, somewhere real quick. So uh, what I just did, I finished off my makeup by just slapping real quick just a few shades from this NARS palette and um, just without, actually without the base, without the setting spray, just, just like that, like really quick and I think this is where I'm going to start my review, although I haven't given you any proper swatches or um, the demo how I applied this I sh shall say that the quality is very good but I kind of stand by I'm gonna uh, do the look again very soon with the proper swatches and um, yeah so that that's about the NARS eyeshadows like I said I have not like I said I have not touched not only not swatched, I have not touched these eyeshadows from, from Pat McGrath yet. So this is also coming up. I feel like they deserve a whole entire video, so that is coming up. Um, that's for the eyeshadows. Now, um, now, the most important part is the foundation the primer and the concealer and the concealer so this is what you see on my face right now eight hours later you guys I tell you this foundation has been tested seriously tested because I have been through a two-hour gym session I have um, also been out and about in and out uh, of the outdoors so my face had seen some sun and my face had seen sunglasses on my nose and in nowhere in any significant way the coverage broke as a matter of fact the coverage is fresh and even more uh, natural than when I just applied it it's like you know what happened it kind of melted everything the products and everything settled into the skin and the all these hours later it actually looks incredible something I want to say about this concealer is um, uh, I'm not sure how exactly I feel about it yet I don't feel it in any way bad though it's just I have some comments to say about this concealer first of all the shade L1 is a really really light shade it kind of wore off a little bit and melted in, into the skin a little bit but in the, in the initial application it was like really white like uh, like truly opaque white and if you like that type of look you are going to get it because this is a very good coverage it's a very grippy concealer it's not a liquid um, it reminds me the closest thing that I have from my concealers is this infallible by L'Oreal um, I have this in 321 eggshell and this is also a very light shade although uh, the undertones are totally different this one is more olive neutral undertone and this one into the peach pink undertone peach undertone not yes peach pink it's kind of a mix so um, this is as far as consistency goes it's um, it 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 um, um, yes I I think I liked it I don't think um, that it's necessary to maybe pay the amount of money I paid for it I don't think I feel like the amount of money was necessary because uh, I seem to have um, a good dupe in the 
drugstore product here um, and also um, I have this Milani concealer which kind of also reminded me this one very similar uh, this one Milani is a little more liquid a little more grippy it doesn't dry down as fast so maybe it's slightly less coverage but a little more forgiving on the application uh, as far as the primer and the foundation go I think they should um, they're worth speaking in um, about together because this is how I apply them and I don't know if maybe perhaps the success of this foundation is partly attributed to the primer I don't know yet I have not tried the foundation of itself but I should say for a dry skin person like mind you that yes there's a little caveat like some people did not like this foundation and I feel like those people have more oily skin type and uh, this foundation kind of wears off I think this is what I got from the reviewers but if you're a dry skin person this is a dry skin friendly foundation completely um, all this time all these hours my skin feels absolutely completely um, comfortable there is no um, amplification of fine lines whatsoever and I feel um, I feel very hydrated I did enjoy for change this primer I think this is a big hit I think I'm gonna be using and like so far I'm even inclined to like I only started using it but I'm kind of as of right now I'm kind of inclined to repurchase this one and this is the first primer that I ever thought of ever repurchasing it so um, I think for Pat McGrath primer this is a huge win uh, it uh, is ahead of a huge curve of all the primers that I tried uh, there are good primers, but this I feel like um, kind of has a little um, advantage on moisturizing, hydrating primers because it also um, diffuses and blurs the pores and also it smooths the texture of the skin. Remember how I spoke about um, dry skin people having like uh, these micro flakes, micro uh, exfoliation uh, of skin? Uh, always regardless of how you exfoliate how you treat your skin how you moisturize this is something that your skin does it just uh, sheds uh, dry skin cells and like a lot of products uh, really amplify that in a flattering way this kind of pats everything down glides everything down and how it says in the description it uh, mimics the porcelain effect I really did feel that I mean like for change the uh, marketing pitch kind of turned out something that I can relate to I uh, yeah I could tell that r uh, under my fingers um, that under my fingers my skin turned into a smooth canvas and um, the foundation itself yes it dries quick so it makes sense to work in small areas like for example to do like one side of the face or like the cheek area then the forehead area something like this to work in sections with this foundation and um, what else can I say it um, is it lays with a very thin layer uh, but it provides a surprising amount of coverage for how thin and smooth it goes on and I'm I think you might be able to build it up I don't know like I was kind of like weary to try to build it up too much because you know like I had moisturizers I had primer and I was very careful not to make it cake and, and roll so I did not try to build it up I pretty much went with a single layer and um, I felt it was like completely sufficient it was completely sufficient for the effect and uh, again as you see uh, I have uh, not the best 
lighting situation right now the sun is going down and it's like literally flooding my face so I don't know like hopefully on camera when I bring the video indoors you will be able to see what is happening on my face but people who saw me today said that uh, this uh, looked very good after all these hours of, of wear so um, yeah I look natural it did not it did not budge and I would say I would say that this is a very fine daily to event option I don't know what kind of events you have in mind maybe if you're going to the swimming pool don't know like some super extreme type of wear but I mean taking this to the gym is pretty damn extreme and you see the result is very good like it did not crack it did not create lines anywhere it did not crepe under the eyes uh, I don't know what else to say it really performs spectacularly well it's probably one of my top three if num not number one at this point foundation so that is very very exciting I'm happy that my monies were well spent and the shade matched me again I have shade at light 2 which I'm happy that I took the 2 because it has peach undertone I tend to look kind of funny in the pink pink undertones so uh, yes guys more videos are coming up I'm gonna demo for you uh, thoroughly the Mothership 6 and the NARS eyeshadow palette I will demo you but I will tell you so far wow wow what kind of what kind of a set of purchases this was like truly spectacular truly spectacular so thanks guys for watching I hope this was informative a little entertaining perhaps um, I'll see you in the next video. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you around. Bye!